Well, hello gang. Geezer here. I guess you could say this is day one. It is day one after my surgery. I had my surgery yesterday. Don't look too bad to me. It don't hurt too bad. It's really uncomfortable. Swallowing for drinking water, or taking pills, and eating is really difficult. But I found if I use chloroseptic spray first, then I can take my pills and I drink water till the spray wears off. Try and keep my fluids up. <clears throat> I managed to eat some tuna fish salad my daughter left me yesterday. Had that for lunch. But before I go too much further, I'd like to give a shout out to Jessica there at Mayfield Clinic. She's the medical secretary for at least my daughter, or my doctor, not my daughter, at least for my doctor. I don't know if maybe others too, but I've had two or three issues before surgery and one today. And she's the one that gets my emails and answers me. She always calls me and she's fixed things. So a big shout out to her. I, don't, I never met her, but she's doing a fantastic job. She needs to be recognized. And everybody at the Mayfield Surgery Center where I was is just fantastic. I can't give them enough credit. They were super nice, uh, very professional, very fine facility. Man, it's amazing. It's a private facility. It's really cool. The nurses and the staff there, everybody I met, the anesthesia doctor, his assistant, my surgeon, everybody's just super nice, pleasant. They know what's going on and they're very professional, but very friendly and, and they joke at the same time. So it's just makes you feel really comfortable and safe that you're going to get treated right. And uh, I seem to because I spent about an hour and a half, Megan said, for my surgery. And here I am, and it don't hurt, it ain't that bad. And the discharge instructions, I'm having more trouble with them than anything. You know, it says I'm not supposed to bend my neck or twist or anything like that. You know, and after 7.4 decades... If I feel something on my toe, you want I'll, you just look down. You don't even think about bending your neck. You know, you can't do that now. You're not supposed to do that. Now, if you want to look to the right, you're supposed to turn your whole body. If you want to look down, you get to kind of bend at the waist, you know. And it's just not something, at least to me, it's not something that comes natural. And I have a hard time with that. So I'm probably screwing up a lot more than the doctor's going to like. But I'm sorry. I'm doing the best I can. I try and think about it. Spend a lot of time in my chair. They told me I got three days after the surgery of doing nothing. Can't even walk back to the camp. Stay in the house, do nothing, sit around. I can come out and sit on the porch here and uh, enjoy a little bit of outside. But and then after the three days, no lifting over, no handling anything over five pounds. So I have my follow-up appointment on the seventh of July. Not in order to be after that. So if I keep forgetting and bending my neck it might be longer I don't know but so and for me being an outdoorsy type guy in the summer I you know out cutting wood and bucking trees and making firewood this sitting around doing nothing is hard on me it's hard on my dog too I got my throat cut and my dog got sick she's been puking all day here I don't know what's the deal with that maybe she's having sympathy pains I don't know and I gave her a stomach pill to we'll see if she settles down but she's kind of a weird dog anyway, but suits my personality, I guess. So, at any rate, day one after surgery, I'm doing good. I got no complaints. I, I do get a little dizzy. There ain't been no cars go by here in an hour until I come out and set the camera up and then several went by. I'm getting a little, still getting dizzy, still coughing a lot, and I don't remember them telling me I would for a while, but Megan said they told me I would cough for a while. And uh, I cough mostly after I change positions. If I'm sitting, I'm okay. If I'm standing, I'm okay. If I'm walking around in the house, I'm okay. But if I stop, change what I'm doing, then I start coughing. I get dizzy pretty easy. I'm stumbling a little bit. And I'm told that's all to be expected for, for now. It's got a lot to do with the drugs, I guess. I'm taking that methocarbinol and oxycodone. And that's why they don't want me walking nowhere too far and staying close to the chair and no, oh, but really, I thought I'd hurt a lot more and things would be a lot worse than they are, you know. I was not expecting to be this well off today. And when I I got up early this morning, I got up like a 115. 
but I had that big nap at the surgery center yesterday, and I didn't do nothing all day, and then I kind of slept off and on and even in the chair there. I'd sleep an hour, hour and a half, then wake up, another hour, hour and a half, wake up. So, one fifteen, I just gave up, been up ever since, so maybe I'll sleep good enough. I'll take a melatonin tonight. So I didn't have none of them the last couple of days. I take them because they got cancer-fighting properties because of my bladder cancer, but it also makes me sleep good. Sometimes I sleep nine, ten hours. So, all in all, things are going good. You know, I get over this dizziness and clumsiness and weakness. My legs feel weak, you know, but that might be part of my lower back issues so that they're going to have to straighten out this fall. So I got the same issues in the spring lumbar spine area that I had in my neck so and uh, they tried shots and physical therapy and none of that stuff worked in fact when I got the last shots in my back when they put me in the, in the room this operating room there to get me prepped for the shots in, directly into the spine <clears throat> and when the nurses asked me how'd you hurt your back I said I don't know I guess just old age you know I've been around 7.4 decades so and yeah, they was getting me ready. Another nurse said, what'd you do before you retired? And I said, well, I spent 20 years in the military and 20 years in a machine shop. And all, in unison, all five of them nurses yelled out, that's how you hurt your back. So maybe that's how I hurt my neck too. But I was treated for 20 years for polymyxia rheumatica with uh, amitriptyline and some other medicines and shots. And none of it was working, I didn't think. But... Then when I got the MRI on my neck and seen all those bad vertebrae, I asked my family doctor and we quit the uh, amitriptyline and nothing got worse. So I think maybe I never had polymyxia rheumatica. I was being treated for that when really it was bad vertebrae all along. They just never did an MRI to find them. So, but we found them now, so we'll see what happens. So, that's it for today. I'll try and do one a video. Uh, Several videos, maybe every day if I can, or every other day at least, until I have my follow-up appointment on the 7th of July and see what they say at the doctor's office. But until then, I'm hanging out and doing okay. See ya. If you want to keep up on my doings, comings and goings, and how I feel and how I'm recovering, don't forget to push the like button and the subscribe button. And if you want to know when I post the new videos, push that little bell thingy. That's will know you notify you then when I post a new video. And when I get over all this at noon Fridays, I post my new woods video. And I got some video from out in the woods recorded in advance. So noon on Fridays, I should have new one of them for at least through the next month or so. At any rate, don't forget like, subscribe, notify, tell your friends, bring them on over. Let's have a party. See ya.